Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of networking for DevOps. In today's video, we are going to discuss the very basic things, the building blocks of networking. All right. So uh, the topics that we are going to discuss today is the first one would be local area network, which is LAN. The next one would be metropolitan area network, which is MAN. Then we're going to talk about WAN, which is wide area network. Now, these are the very basic things and you might be thinking why I'm talking about these these very basic terminologies. I'm talking about them because they are actually the building blocks of computer networks or any sort of networks and understanding them is very essential at the very early stage of this course. All right. And if you think this video is taking a lot of time for the explanation, you can always move into 1.25x or 1.5x. All right. Now, I'm not going to sh show any images over here or something. I'm going to draw everything on Excalidraw so that you can put take out your pen and paper and you can draw with yourself you're making notes that would be great and please do subscribe to the channel because that really helps me to grow all right so let's dive right into the video okay so if we try to understand in simpler words so you can say this is a very large circle this is kind of a small circle inside that large circle and then we have another circle over here okay so this smaller circle stands for your LAN this stands for MAN, which is MAN, and then this stands for WAN, Wide Area Network, Metropolitan Area ne Network, and LAN, your local area network. So this is how it works. Okay, so let us understand what exactly is your LAN. So LAN stands for your local area network. It is a network that connects computers and devices in a limited geographical area, such as your home, and then you have your office building, and then you have a campus, your campus, basically your college campus or university campus. So basically LAN are typically used for sharing resources such as you have your files, right? You have your files or you have your printers or you have your internet connection between two systems. So this connection has to be shared using, uh, these are the connected devices, basically device one, device two, device three. And for that you basically need LAN. Okay, so uh, Ethernet and Wi-Fi are common technologies used to create LAN. So Ethernet and uh, you have Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi meaning is wireless fidelity. So that's the full form of Wi-Fi. Uh, uh, I can write it down. Wireless fidelity. So this is what the full form uh, we have right now. All right, so this is what you use to create LANs. Okay, so let us understand through diagram what exactly it is. So what happens is, let's say you have, uh, let's have you have your school premises or, or your college premises, all right? Inside that you have a building and inside that building you have multiple computers. So let's say PC1, PC2, PC3, and it is not necessarily that you should have PCs only. You can have printers as well because you can create a network through anything, right? So these are the devices that you can have the internet. Now they talk to each other. So if you are a user and you want to access something that yours is a laptop, let's say LP1, you want to access information from uh, PC1, PC2, PC3, you would be using probably a LAN inside your your premises you do not need internet for this right now okay so you do not need that okay so if you want to print some file or something you want to share something you can use this network and this is what you can do so inside a college or a school uh, let's say a hospital basically very a small small area small geographical area not exactly geographical a very small area in in, in a geography in which you can connect the devices through each other is known as LAN, which is your local area network. Now let's talk about a few things about it. So it's actually very secure. I mean, for the first point, it's very secure. Why exactly? Because no one can access it from the outside. So if you have your, uh, let's say college premises over here, if you do not, if you're not using internet over here, then probably no one can access it through because there is nothing unless the person goes inside the college premises and accesses the machine. That's that's the only thing. Okay, uh, the second point is the data transfer is very fast. Since it's a very small area, right? It's a small area, so data transfer would be very fast uh, in this scenario. Okay, and uh, the third point is the cost is very less. I mean, it's kind of inexpensive because the hardware that you use is kind of inexpensive. So that's why you have 
very less cost than that all right so i hope you might have understood what exactly is lan let's talk about what exactly is man so man actually stands for metropolitan area network it is a larger network that covers a larger geographical area than a lan but it is smaller than wan wan we are going to discuss next man are typically used to connect multiple lands within a city or a metropolitan area we will understand it through a diagram but let's talk about the advantages first uh, why do we use it so advantages is first is the high speed communication okay so it also has a high speed communication so basically they can provide high speed uh, data transfer rates making them suitable for application that require fast data tra transmission the second is the connectivity is really improved so if we talk about the connectivity it is really improved uh, they can connect multiple lands and provide seamless communication between them enabling efficient resource sharing and collaboration they are also cost effective uh, you you can use them for the cost effectiveness because compared to wan which is wide area network man are often more cost effective in to to set up and maintain especially for or organization that need to connect multiple location within a city or a metropolitan area all right that's how a name comes through it and then when we talk about the scalability it is also an advantage of it so they can be easily scaled to accommodate the growing needs of an organization making them suitable for businesses that are expected to expand in the future so whenever you have a small uh, a small area in which uh, you want to start your company you first start very uh, small so you use a uh, man in that uh, in in that particular time if you do not have a lot of capital to invest but later on you get the internet uh, nowadays a lot of people uh, get the internet in the first place because they raise funds they already have that much of money so that they can scale it globally now there are some uh, disadvantages uh, as well to this i'm not writing it completely in order to save time so there are disadvantages as well so uh, first is your uh, limited range the range is kind of uh, limited why because mans have a limited range compared to wans which can restrict their use to specific geographical areas for example one company is trying to expand to the other continent you cannot use man for that you have to use wan which is wan uh, second is the complexity part uh, which i would like to highlight so uh, when you set up uh, and maintain man it can be complex because it requires specialized knowledge and expertise which can increase the cost in the uh, effort involved okay and we have security concerns uh, with with this as well because man can connect multiple lands all right we'll we'll draw a diagram uh, in in a while they can be more more vulnerable to security breaches requiring uh, robust security measures to protect against unauthorized access and the data breaches all right and i think uh, the last one should be your dependency on the infrastructure part so let me write that down dependency on infrastructure so uh, basically they'll rely on physical infrastructure such as uh, cables or routers or coaxial cables which can be prone to damage or failure uh, damage like uh, let's say let's say uh, there is a rat infestation and they can cut the wires this leads to disruption in the communication so that's the basic advantages and disadvantages of man okay um, now when we talk about the diagram let's talk about it so your metropolitan area network would something like this let's say let's say there is a government organization okay talking to each other let's say there is a university okay talking to each other and then let's say there is a hospital okay and then let's say there is a college now this would be your metropolitan area network and if you put that everything inside a closed peripheral area this would be your man metropolitan area network now this university will have its own lan this college will have its own lan this hospital will have its own lan and this government organization will have its own lan so yeah that's how it works all right now let's dive into the wan part so let's talk about wan so first we'll understand the diagram and then we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages now as i drew a diagram just now 
there would be a LAN. Okay. This LAN, let's say LAN one, LAN two, LAN three. There is an area for that, and that would constitute a MAN. I'll make it smaller so that you can see it. Okay. Okay. So this is your MAN one. Now there would be another man like this, let's say man 2, it would be having its own LAN, 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, something like that and so on and so forth, it would be having a few other MANs as well, okay and it would be having another L1, L2, L3 up to LN, okay. I hope you got the idea. Now connecting all of them together it's a collection this would be known as your van which is wide area network now this is not restricted to one two or three this can be n number and this is that huge that it can ascend through your continents through your cities through your countries all over the world so if this is your globe and these are the country one country two country three it talks like this like this so they will talk to each other through van. So I hope you get the idea of how exactly a van would look like. Okay, so let's talk about it's uh, let's let's summarize it basically. So van would stand for wide area network. Uh, it is a network that covers a large geographical area, typically spanning multiple uh, cities, uh, countries, and the continents as well. Okay. So VANs are used to connect LANs and other type of networks over long distances allowing organizations to communicate and share resources across different locations. Okay, So for everything we have pros and cons so let's talk about the pros first. So uh, first of all the geographical uh, uh, coverage uh, that would be the first thing because VAN can connect devices and networks across vast distances allowing organizations to communicate and collaborate globally. Then we have resource sharing, again, uh, the resource sharing part, which is very important. It enables organizations to share resources such as files, applications, and databases across different locations. This improves your productivity and efficiency. Uh, you use internet, right? So that's an, that is an example. Centrali uh, centralized management, which is again a great point. Centralized management. So WAN will allow for, uh, allow said for centralized management of network resources. It makes it easier to monitor and control network uh, activities that happen all over the geographical places. In let's say your office is in in the, in the U.S. or in Australia or in India or uh, let's say in Europe. So you will can monitor stuff from s sitting at one position. So person who is sitting in the U.S. can monitor in Australia, in India, in uh, any country in Europe or some uh, like that. So I hope you get the idea. And the point scalability, which uh, is again. Uh, a great point. So in scalability, you can easily scale to accommodate the growing needs of an organization, making them suitable for businesses that are expected to expand. So the businesses that was uh, using MAN first can be expanded by using WAN. Okay, so that's that's how it works. Um, let's talk about a few cons as well. So again, the most important part is the cost. It goes up. I mean, setting up and maintaining a van can be expensive. It can be really expensive as it requires specialized equipment and infrastructure to connect devices and networks over long distances. All right. Uh, then again, uh, the complexity part that we had to discuss. So van can be complex uh, to set up and manage uh, requiring really technical uh, expertise and you need careful planning basically to ensure optimal performance and the security part. And then uh, security risks increases with that. So security risks. So they are more vulnerable to security threats such as hacking uh, because your system, if you are not using proper security measures, you are prone to hacking, uh, let's say viruses as well, data breaches, Trojans or, uh, or something. And uh, due to larger attack surface and they need, you need to protect the data as it travels across the long distance, across continents, across, across the countries uh, and, and cities and, and the areas, all right? And then we have uh, reliability. 
okay these are the main points basically you can have more on that van can be less reliable than lans as they are more prone to outages and disruptions caused by factors such as network congestion equipment failure and natural disasters so that can happen but right now uh, i think we we can overcome all of this uh, you can always have a backup uh, if your data got uh, got damaged uh, you can always have uh, multiple geographic locations uh, if you have a natural disaster happening in at your place let's say let's say uh, let's say there's there's a place uh, you have a data replica this is the same data basically but three uh, geographical location geographical location 1 geographical geographical location 2 and location 3 all right so if this goes down you can always get a replica of it this is a sort of backup so we have the techniques for that so you do not have to worry about this point a lot so that is for the video folks in the next video we're going to talk about hubs bridges and switches and why i discussed in this video about the LAN, man and van part because this is something that you need to understand uh, as a very basic so that whenever we talk about uh, the higher concepts concepts uh, like virtual uh, local area networks the bum traffic unicast multicast ip address and stuff you need to know these very basics how networking happens in the areas all right so that would be all for this video if you're new over here please do consider subscribing because that would really support me to create more content like this and i'll see you in the next one